In this video, I'm going to show you how to add light leaks to your photos in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a really easy way to add light leaks to your photos in Photoshop. Now light leaks are when light enters a camera and it causes a glare on the photo when it's not supposed to. But like a lot of things that aren't supposed to happen, it actually ends up adding a pretty unique and interesting style to your photo. So I'm going to show you how to add it digitally. So open up your photo in Photoshop and to create the light leak, all we're going to need is a simple gradient layer. So head over to layer, new fill layer, gradient. And then make sure before you select OK to set the blending mode to screen. So I'll call this light leak. Now for your gradient, you want to choose this one right here. If you don't see that, head over to the cogwheel and select Reset Gradients. So you should have this preset um, set of gradients here. So go ahead and choose the second one, which is your foreground color to transparent. And then double click on it to adjust it. So now we want to make the first color white. So go ahead and double click on it and I'm going to go ahead and make it white. Now we want to add another color. So just a little bit down there, we're going to add another color stop and we're going to double click on it. And this one, we want to make it bright yellow. So go ahead and make it bright yellow. And then lastly, we want to add a third color stop. So this one, you want to make bright red. So pretty much solid bright red. And now you can play around with the spacing just to even it out a little bit, but you want to keep all three color stops tightly to the left. So go ahead and press OK, and you can see we've got our light leak happening here. But the reason we did it on a gradient fill layer is because now we can put it wherever we want and make it look however we want. So as you can see, if I hover my mouse over the image while I still have the gradient fill layer settings up, I can move my light leak up and down. So, of course, you don't want that harsh white all the time. So I can just barely make it peek out from the bottom. I can also do things like adjust the angle. So if I want it coming from a different direction, I can do that as well and move it. I can also adjust the scale. So I can stretch it out so it's a little bit softer. Or I can shrink it down so it's a really harsh light leak that just comes in on the side. And then, of course, I can adjust things like the style. So this is just a linear gradient, but I can also make it a radial gradient like this. So I can add light leaks wherever I please and move them around. I can also use uh, reflected, which is another cool one, and place it wherever I want. And the cool thing is, um, once I'm done and I have it where I want, I can just click OK and if I hit Command J or right click and duplicate it, I, ha I now have the same light leak on another layer. So if I just double click it, I can create as many light leaks as I want and put them wherever I want really. Also another tip, um, instead of just the typical realistic red light leak, you can also just double click and if you want a blue light leak, you can just change your colors to be blue and then maybe like a lighter blue. So you can just edit your gradient to make it whatever color of light leak you want and you can still move it around just the same. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. I really like the gradient fill method because it has a lot of adjustability to it and you can do whatever you want with it. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. And if you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll help you out as best as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.